you see in this GRC system uh, it is inevitable how you must have uh, certain constituencies you must have a Malay candidate but the trouble with the opposition side is that there are many Malay professionals nowadays but they keep to themselves they don't want to involve in politics very rare lah orang Melayu yang ada kelayakan who's got qualifications and uh, who can easily go and join any party and then be a key player in the party but they have refused because I think if they are uh, they are professionals they would have a good life when I say good means uh, above average income uh, so if the wife is also earning an income they would be having a good life so why jeopardize that and they call you as always you know slaughter the chicken to frighten the monkeys that's what they say so the Malays I've spoken to quite a number of Malay professionals but they are just the angkau je lah angkau pergi lah you know like so until we can get a good number of Malays to join our position we will get uh, I think not as good lah maybe second rate Malays in our position of course if we can get really good Malays academically qualified they they can play a very meaningful meaningful role in the opposition and with that uh, that will increase the profile of Malay profile nationally bukan macam tangkap muan just macam dulu dia in uh, you know so they get a comedian to stand for elections now I'm not looking down at him because he has his own niche not as a politician mm. so John JR just get him and then put him there so he is just a, what he'll be playing not only second fiddle but I think if even Francis Xiao had won mm. there's nothing much he could do to enhance the profile mm. right mm. because it's not his line I know him personally, I got nothing against him, but it's just not his line. Mm -hmm. Having said that, I would say that I'm also not highly educated. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, kata orang Melayu, tak ada, tak ada apa, tak ada gading, tanduk pun berguna lah. So, that's where I fit in. So, I make the best of it lah. As you all can see, I do whatever I can, the best that I can. But if I had a professional qualification, then things would be better. Mm. And I think it will trickle down. Less people will be frightened to join politics, you know. And I can maybe persuade more people make their contribution so as I've said before I can see my expiry date already so I need uh, to get more qualified people to come and join but politics is not a dirty game and not a dirty name you know mm. but yes I somehow they are so it's taboo to many Malay professionals until and unless we get uh, better qualified Malays we will always be playing uh, secondary role that's my view okay. in the SDP now we have a few people one of whom is uh, Dr. Joita, have you met her? Mm -hmm. Dr. Joita Asmara mm -hmm. Rahmat. Mm -hmm. 
Dewi Asmara Dengan nama Very nice sounding name She's uh, very soft spoken But she's I think she's got the What it takes to To grow And uh, we have a few more boys lah, Whom I hope Now they are continuing their studies They've come in the youth Now they are doing their studies So when they come back Hopefully they can <coughs> Excuse me Hopefully they can play A more active role We need this lah. In this modern age You see all the youngsters here They study They go for higher qualifications And then you get leaders of or not Par with them, mm. on par. So difficult. Mm. As I say, I'm. I've reached a stage whereby uh, I will become irrelevant. Mm. So more young people, qualified people, must come and take over. So the ball is also in your court. Isn't it, Narayani? Yeah, quite, quite. So let's push on. <laughs>